Okay. Hi, I'm Mary Electra, and I do a lot of, uh, I do something called tonal alchemy, and so I'm very tuned in to vibrations, frequencies, energy, and I touch a lot of things, like people have all these wonderful things that they say, this will do this, or this will do this, and I'll hold them, and I don't really capture their frequency. Uh, and I'm not in any way Atlantean or mind-oriented. I'm very much heart-oriented, very Lemurian in my nature. So I really feel and trust what I feel. And when I met the person, Gregor, who made these, he has a wand and then he has these magical little circles that are... I can't explain them to you, but when you hold them, they have a frequency. <laughs> they vibrate. They're literally vibrating in my hand. And powerful. It's not just a little, it's not just a little vibration. It's a very powerful vibration. And so I, I've never felt anything that had this power. And so I want one. <laughs> so, <laughs> tell Gregor to give me one. <laughs> Well, how, how would you like it if you could have this one? Are you, no, are you serious? I'm serious. But I put everything into my hair. I love it. Can I make it into a necklace? You can make it into a necklace. Yeah, absolutely. Because I make jewelry. Yeah. I mean, I make... I'll tell everybody. So I'll have to tell everybody. Thank you. Because I know people who buy all this stuff. You know, and they, and they have me feel it. They go, oh. And, and I, <laughs> it's, I mean, this is really cool. I mean, really cool. And your wands are amazing. Well, enjoy it. I could have sold wands at my table today because I have a wand that's nothing like that. And people were captured by it. And I'm sure they would have been captured by your wand because I was captured by it. And it's like, what do you do? That's amazing. Yes, it's flowing. Yes, it's flowing. Yes, you guys, I gotta tell you about this wand. <laughs> okay, so. Wands are very, very magical, and they really help you to direct your energy. They, I mean, they're very powerful in directing your energy and, and helping you ground and hold your energy space. Mm -hmm. And also, they help you to connect to your higher realms. It all depends on how you choose to use them. But when a wand can do all of those things, it's just magic. And finding them is not always that easy. But you see, I'm going to say that I believe because it's got this piece of earth in it that's the quartz that holds a lot of memory. It's a very powerful, this is a very powerful stone. And I'm sure you always use wonderful stones in there. And then the, somehow there's a coiling here that captured me, the way you coiled it. But the way it, it just, it's just very magical. And you can just, oh, I can tell you that if you want to do it, Take your heart chakra if you're out of balance on your heart chakra. All you really have to do is put this to your heart. Just imagine or have an intention of balancing, and it just it's there. It's just magic. And do this if you want to have, you know, your mind, your 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 uh, third eye activated, and you want to be able to see more clearly. Really, you just send your intention and focus this energy. It's just really powerful. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm very, very impressed. It really is wonderful. You know, you can just... It's just powerful. Um, can you describe this to me, though? Can you, in the camera, can you tell me what this is so I know what I'm talking about? It's, it's, it's an octogram. It's an octogram, okay. So basically, it's a square. It's a double square. It's a double square. Turn, but it's a circle, but it's a double square. And it has a frequency of a double square. So what a double square basically is this foundation. And so when you're working with your uh, higher bodies, when you're working with your higher consciousness, this, is, this opens the higher consciousness in a way that you can stay uh, connected to it in a grounded way. You're not grounded like you're grounded, but you're grounded in a way that you're connecting to your higher self.
in a kind of a pure, thoughtful, conscious way. So then, um, this is the Star of David. Wow, that was it. So when we put this inside of here, why did I lose? What do you mean you lose? Because the city is such a hot place. I physically, viscerally have oh, a reaction I, to this. I, I'm not putting it on I the go out of my body and I have a conscious connection to my um, interdimensional self. And see, I'm of the thoughts that we are interdimensional beings, that we're just not aware of it. We, we live in this linear world, and so we're kind of limited to that consciousness of linear. But when this, when, you, when I experience this, it's like I'm, I'm there, and I'm very conscious of it. And being consciously aware of my inner dimension is a cool, cool, cool thing. And I really love it. And whew, these, are, these are good, you guys. <laughs> I'm serious, people, you know. If you're working on your uh, energetic fields, for instance, if you're really wanting to activate those uh, what science calls those junk DNAs, um, this will help you. I mean, I tone. I mean, I'm a tone. I, I tone. And I do alchemy with my sound. I activate DNA strands. But once it's activated, what do you do? You can hold it open with this. This is like really cool. This is really, this really will help that um, Opening those portals to the higher failed. consciousness. Mm -hmm. I really believe they, that. The Wells Fargo mm -hmm. execs came down.